I'm joined today by Lila Tretikoff from Microsoft. Um, Lila, it's a very nice to see you. Thank you for being here. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. <laughs> so, Lila, you're a, a corporate vice president and a um, global expert in um, digital technology and artificial intelligence. Um, you've also been our uh, strategic partner through Microsoft um, for some time now. Uh, this week we launched. Or this week we're launching um, new digital applications for our medical ecosystem. The platform piece of this we've really developed um, as partners together. Uh, firstly, we're extremely grateful for that partnership. Thanks to you and the team for all that you've done for us. Um, how would you characterize the differences in um, a medical platform versus the other types of platforms in the other industries that you work with? Well, we are really deeply committed to healthcare, and it has been a privilege to work with Zeiss. Thank you. Um, thank you for bringing us closer to the customers, for helping us understand their needs. Healthcare is very unique because the level of security, privacy, and compliance are so extreme uh, in this particular segment. Right. And uh, I believe that the reason I think we partners, you chose us for right. this particular job is because Microsoft is especially strong in this area. Right. From anything from GDPR and um, healthcare compl uh, regulation, regulatory compliance to security. You know, just like um, you collect a lot of health signals, we collect trillions of uh, data points around uh, security. And that's how we keep uh, our security uh, so, so high, um, right. uh, including investing an order of billion dollars a year into the segment. So those are probably the biggest challenges we see in, uh, in the healthcare space. Right, right. Yes, and of course, I think people are becoming so much more aware of data security now as well. Um, you know, in the healthcare space, I mean, patients are aware of security, the need for security of their own data, um, which quite rightly adds an extra layer of challenge. You know, they want security, but also patients want access. So you've got the whole right. business of, um, you know, how to provide um, access rights to different people at different times and it just again layers on a, another level of complexity I think. That's exactly right yeah. because you have to balance it with interoperability and yeah. that's why we uh, developed and support FHIR standard which is an open source st standard uh, that allows all organizations to work together and the standard that we used uh, Absolutely. in our partnership. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So tell me a little bit about artificial intelligence. Uh, I know in the, in the field of, of healthcare, probably hasn't had the level of impact yet that it has in other aspects of our life, and yet the opportunity in healthcare is huge. What's your perspective on, on sort of where we are now and the sort of AI journey that we're embarking on? Yeah, I think we are in the beginning of the journey still, uh, but the opportunity is just enormous. The opportunity is really for us to decode biology, right. to decode chemistry, and to really be able to predict what's going to happen, mm -hmm. and specifically, uniquely to a patient down the line, right? So it's really personalized, uh, personalized healthcare. Um, a way I like to describe it is, uh, you know, in our lives as professionals, if I'm a doctor, I see hundreds thousands maybe of patients right. uh, and I read hundreds of thousands of articles yeah, yeah. but what if we could give the doctor millions of uh, patients uh, in his in his or her experience right. uh, and thousands ten thousands hundred thousands of articles and that's what uh, exactly what we're doing with AI yeah AI from the natural language processing can bring and distill insights from um, articles and studies and present it so it's easier for the doctors to digest it can bring in uh, information from variety of surgeries that a mm -hmm. particular doctor would have never have seen to help them improve their skills and improve outcomes for their patients. Right, right, yes, yes, that, thank you. Um, you know, when I think about it, the um, number of variables associated with the patient is, is clearly huge. Um, and we know from data science that the more the variables, the more data you need in order to draw conclusions. And yet, um, as you indicated, I mean, the, the number of, of, of patients that even a really busy physician can see in their entire career um, may not be large enough to be able to kind of decode um, how to interpret some of those nuances. So it's really about data aggregation and the opportunity to, you know, sort of bring data together on a platform um, and then, um, you know, learn collectively. 
Exactly, yeah. exactly. And this is where AI is so important. So access to data is really critical, and then having algorithmic uh, algorithms on top of that is really, really important, right. just as important as well, because that's what allows us to distill insights. If we even just look at our genomic plus epigenomic data, there isn't even enough space in the world to store <laughs> right. it yeah, today, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But at some point, we're going to be able to aggregate all of those different pieces for each individual patient and, and create truly unique programs to help them. Yeah, and it's actually it's a very exciting time in healthcare, I think, because it's really the first time when we've had the ability to collect different forms of data um, about patients, um, information about lifestyle, as well as sort of you know core healthcare data, the kind of thing we collect in electronic medical records and bring it all together. And, and really, it, to me, it's the diversity of data and the quantity of data that we can bring together, as well as the ability of companies like Microsoft to um, you know to analyze data at scale and extract insights. That's so true. But what makes me really excited about what you have developed and, and uh, what you're launching is really the empowerment of the patient and empowerment of the doctor. You're really right. putting control in their hands and bringing the tools giving them the second brain, giving them more time. You know, we often talk, talk about, at Microsoft we'll have to talk about uh, efficiency. Yeah. But efficiency has to be also be effective at the same time. So how do right. we do both, given that we have to handle more patients, we have to handle more data? The only way to do that is really to empower right. the patient and empower the doctor with all of that intelligence which assists them, not doesn't replace them, yep, yep. it augments them. It gives them, removes their cognitive load and gives them only the information that they need when they need it. Yeah, that, thank you, that's great to hear. Um, what about the, the cloud itself as kind of a vehicle for change? You know, the, the ability to connect from anywhere, um, you know, access data from anywhere, it really opens itself up to um, new forms of practicing medicine, the logistics of medicine, if you like. What's your perspective on that? That is very true, and I, I deeply believe that it actually democratizes medicine, makes it more accessible, brings people who are typically underserved uh, into the medical system. And what we've seen over the last year is that telemedicine alone went from 1% to I think one in every six uh, interactions between mm -hmm. patient and doctor are now virtual. And that is really significant. That also means that doctors can do more, patients can access doctors in different areas around the world, more patients can access doctors. Mm -hmm. So that I think is really important. But on top of that, for doctors themselves, we really believe, you know, today doctors spend a significant portion of their time literally just data, entering the data. Right. I think, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, last time I saw my doctor, she spoke with me and then she had to turn around and enter a bunch <laughs> of stuff. Right. And this what motivated our, um, our entrance in, into that space and and uh, even our purchase of nuance because yeah. we want the doctors to be freed from the burden of, uh, uh, of this manual work because the, right. the reality is we can, the AI can, can transcribe, translate, and then you know even uh, engage patients, send, it, send information to patients, right. all automatically while the doctor and the patients are having a dialogue. Yeah, no, right, right, exactly. No, and, that, and what we've tried to do, as you know, is we've tried to create now these sort of connected workflow solutions where you know we have a lot of technology that exists, um, and when it exists in isolation, uh, we kind of add to that level of bureaucracy that you're describing. Um, so just really by connecting devices and using the cloud and you know creating applications that seamlessly transfer data from one step of a procedure to the other. Certainly our hope that we can make our contribution to that, you know, that streamlining of healthcare delivery. Yeah. It's, it's so incredibly important and you're yeah. doing such important job. And I think one of the biggest issues with, uh, uh, with healthcare today is the amount of errors and amount of repetition that, that needs to happen yeah. because of the situations that you describe. And the manual can, transcription of data from, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, every time a doctor comes to a new nurse, a doctor comes right. to you, they ask you for your name, they ask yeah. you, the, you know, all of these procedures <laughs> are designed to minimize error, yeah. transmission risk. Right. And what we're doing right now is we're helping take that away so that those errors go to zero. And that's our goal, I think. 
that's nice to hear. This is why we're such good partners. <laughs> so um, you've, you've had a chance to have a look at some of the, the new applications that, we've, um, um, that we're launching this week. Um, you know, we have some great technology launches as well, but you know, as far as the, you know, the ecosystem, um, for us this week, it's really about launching our first integrated solution and also adding, in the process, adding in new applications. Um, honest first impression of those sort of first applications we'll be bringing to market in this space. I think we are entering a beginning of an incredible journey together. Mm -hmm. uh, SDS empowering patients, SDS empowering doctors, SDS reducing errors in the surgery room. I think the sky is the limit for where this can go and I'm just so excited to see these first steps. <laughs> That's great. Well look, thank you so much. Thank you for being here today and thank you um, personally and Microsoft for the amazing partnership. Your team has been phenomenal. You know, we've had literally um, you know, close to 200 people between us working on this project and um, it's just been a huge success. I'm so impressed with the, uh, the way we've been able to work together across continents, across you know, corporate boundaries. It's just been a phenomenal exercise though. So thank you, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.